<laughs> I picked a perfect day for this. When was the last time you went to a junkyard? For me, oh, I would have to say, I don't know, early 2000s when I was working on a Malibu, because we're gonna pick up some parts for that Silverado that I'm building in the shop down there. I haven't messed with that truck in a long time, but I have to get a few small things. Uh, one of them being a tail light, the other one being some small screws and stuff. But we're going to go through this junkyard that I haven't been to in a long time. So it's interesting to see what it's going to look like, what kind of cars are going to be there. Obviously, newer model cars. That one down there, that Silverado is a 94. They do have some older trucks like that. But I'm kind of wondering what's in the junkyard nowadays. Uh, thermostat says it's 10 degrees outside. Not the best day to be... Uh, heading to the junkyard but either way this is the day i got to get this done before i start my new job you may ask me mike why are you going to a junkyard in the middle of winter for such you know non-valued parts well it's simple i'm kind of retarded I hope that answers your question. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've walked through one of these. Oh. Yep, that one looks pretty sad. Man, everything is missing. Everything's missing those interior pieces I need. That front part right there. This might be a bust. So this stuff don't look sketchy. Anything? Nope. Nope. Like I said, the year that I need is 94. Those dashes changed to 95. So it might be tough finding what I need. God, you want to get underneath one of these? Whew. Jeez Louise. Is there anything that isn't completely stripped out? <laughs> like I said, I haven't been to one of these in forever. Oh, that's a shame. A blazer. Oh, man. That is... That's a shame almost any model can do as long as it's the year i'm looking for oh do we have something no see i'm i'm looking for this part in here i can't i don't need that part that part i have this internal part though that's what i need maybe maybe man it's like they're all gone yeah! it's not looking promising And I picked the absolute best day to come to the junker too. Frigid cold, snow coming down. Love it. But hey, at least they're on concrete now. Back in the day, it was just all mud. You had to, if you wanted to come to the junkyard, you had to lay in the mud. I even contemplated on getting my muck boots out. Uh, what's this one? Am I going to get lucky? <sighs> I think this has what I need, guys. Yep. If it didn't get stripped out, what I need is this plastic bezel back here. I could really use those screws, those hex screws. I wonder if they took them out. No. Nope. I might have to search for those. But that whole back piece in the back there is what's stripped out. Brought few, few tools with me. I don't need much to get this out. Ooh, back up. Ooh, hope I didn't scratch that guy's car. Let's turn the heat on real quick. 
No, that ain't gonna work. Oh no, it's busted on that side. I didn't realize this was all one big piece. That is a bummer, man. Yeah, see, this is all, this is all busted up. That's the same problem I have with mine. They're known for this because that plastic is so fragile. Well, I guess we'll just have to move on to the next one. Unfortunately, when it comes to the pieces I'm looking for, I am not finding them. These uh, interiors are picked over pretty good. And uh, my, uh, my year is kind of a select year right before that body change. And I'm having a tough time finding what I need. And the tail lights, well, let's show you what the tail light situation is. I have an electronic strip in that tail light. It seems like every tail, tail light I pull, that strip's broken, just like mine's broken. And, or I run into this. I can't get the tailgates down. Now, I found out that this piece here, I found out that this piece here also attached to this. So look, it's plastic riveted. So I need this piece not broken in that color talk about a needle in a haystack right so what am i gonna do i can't even find the screws that i need and look i'm freezing up the search continues but i think this might be a bust guys what do you think i'll keep searching even if i could find a van because they had that kind of interior as well i'd be i'd be doing good but I'm not even finding a van. That'd be like a needle in a haystack, honestly. If I found a van with the interior I needed, boy, that'd be that'd be something. Well, there's a blue one. There's an old tailgate. Might be able to get that down. But it's just the wrong interior. I'm telling you, man. This is almost impossible to find. There's a couple around here though. We'll just keep on searching, but man, I'm digging this concrete. This is so much better than walking around in mud. Well, no luck, but this one is in excellent shape. I'm just gonna have to dye it. <laughs> That's, I'm gonna pull this one out and we will cover it with the dash pad or we'll We'll dye it somehow, but I'm not going to leave here empty handed. That's what I needed right there. A stupid plastic piece. But this one's in good shape, so we'll try to dye it. All right, so we're going to try some Suburbans now because I'm thinking maybe they don't have the exposure to the weather. Oh, that one's already gone like the others do on these tail lights and I can find one that isn't rotted and corroded I'll pull this one off the back side here so I figured I'll start checking the Suburbans and Tahoes they might be in better shape because they're a little bit more protected from the weather uh, well this one is totally different but it's gonna work I really wish I would have saved that tail lint. Oh, it was busted anyway, so no harm, no foul. We're gonna even take the gasket with this bad boy because it's like brand new, brand new condition. Perfect. I got my piece. <laughs> you wanna hear something that sucks? I got a truck here that has all the little screws and stuff that I need to complete this and doors locked. Me being in the junkyard, everything's tell me, just pop the window. But I got employees working like three cars down, hauling stuff out. So I'm gonna wait for them to make some noise and then I'm gonna pop this window. Got it. Oh, look at that. Got a little dash pad too. 
I'll be needing that. I hate doing that, but it had to be done because I need these little pieces. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Who remembers these geo trackers? Look how tiny that motor is. Geo tracker. Sometimes it's a convertible. Sometimes it's a rugged 4x4. If you're from the 90s, you'll remember the Geo Tracker. I think I saw one other car in here. Oh, here it is. No lie. I learned how to drive in this car. The Geo Prism. Geo Prism, part of the Geologic line. Now in selected Chevrolet dealers. Man, look at that. Oh, it's even the hatchback version. Super rare, super rare hatchback Geo Prism. Boy, if that don't bring back memories. Is it open? Oh, yeah. This one's in fairly good shape, too. Believe it or not, it doesn't stink in here. It smells really good. But, yep, that's where I learned how to drive. Learned how to drive in a Geo Prism. Geo Prism. Thing, yeah, Prism. Ooh, that's some sketchy stuff. Why don't you go ahead and crawl underneath that? Who remembers Monte Carlos? Now, I'm a fan of the old Monte Carlos, but if I was to choose a newer style one, it would not look like the freaking, I don't know what was it called, the Baron. No, that was a Buick. I can't remember. I was always a fan of this body style. Yeah. What a shame. The sleek new 200 horsepower Chevy Monte Carlo SS. Well, let's go check out and see what kind of damage we did. These high dollar parts I've got. Well, we're back home and here she is in all her glory. Oh, what is that? What is that? Man, are you serious? I leave you for a month or two and you have an accident in the garage. I mean, unacceptable. Well, before we get into the interior, Let's see where this leak's coming from. There shouldn't be anything in that area where that leak should be coming from. Oh no. All right, since the last time I checked in on this project, we did the rear brakes in the back. And well, the reservoir was completely, completely dry. And now I know why the reservoir is completely dry on the brake cylinder or the master cylinder. That's because the master cylinder is leaking. Awesome. Well, we'll get to that later. New master cylinder is in your near future. So we got our parts. I think I might be able to drill these plastic rivets out and reuse this middle piece. If not, I'm gonna have to paint this. And we're not gonna paint it anytime soon because you can tell it's cold in this garage. This tail light piece, here's my old one. You can tell every single one I pulled out was broken in this area. Don't know what the flaw is, but I was lucky enough to find an upgraded model in that Suburban that has this circuit board. Whether or not it works, I don't know. Didn't pay that much money for it, but we'll see. The interior, she looks good. It's not 100% perfect, but I washed the carpet and I took out the dash pad, which is right there, custom, not getting rid of that, and I figure out how to wash that without it like disintegrating, but it's in good shape. Ah. Oh. But this piece here, this is what I was talking about. These little pieces right here, someone just like drove wood screws through it and they broke right back there. That's why it was so important to get this new piece because I don't want this thing rattling down the road. The good thing is I already had the radio taken out back when I owned it and I put a tape deck in, which means I don't have to take the whole dash part to get back there to pull the old radio out. But I will have to take all this apart to get uh, that new bezel in. Now, I'm not sure how far back or how much work I've done to this, but just to speed you guys up, we replaced the steering column. Uh, I found out I had a bad light switch. That's new on the, the tool bench there. Uh, my window switch for this side is kind of wonky. So I got a whole new bezel for this. And well, we did rear brakes and put a dry shaft in. Getting into the dry shaft, 
I think the rear end might be shot on this. I pulled the diff, drained it out. It didn't look the best, a lot of metal, no big chunks, just a lot of wear. And I'm thinking, well, when I did the U-joints on this, it was a carbon fiber dry shaft that I pulled out. This thing didn't come with a carbon fiber dry shaft. I think they put a new model dry shaft in here and they may or may not have done the rear diff on this and they didn't do it prep. They didn't do it properly. Man, it's so cold I can't talk. When I mean they didn't do it properly, when you do that kind of work, there is preload on bearings and everything has to be mic'd out. Otherwise, the rear end will slowly eat itself alive. Whew. Well, we also, uh, we did the rear brake lines in the back and massive or slave cylinders because those disintegrated. Brake lines disintegrated, everything disintegrated. We put a new fuel pump, new gas tank. Uh, I fixed all the wiring underneath. We put, you guys obviously saw that I put new injectors in it. That worked out really well. She runs. She will pull in and out like she should. That is a little disheartening because I haven't been doing much filming on this. It's because every time I fix something, I find something else wrong. But we will eventually get there, eventually. Most important part is I got these pieces here. I can start putting this in. This is the new switch I was talking about. Here is the new door switch and the new bezel because, well, the handle is really worn out on this truck here. I really hope I don't have to paint this and I'm able to separate this piece from here and put that in the one that matches this correct color because those are really hard to find used but nonetheless we're not going to be doing any of that work today sorry it's not that kind of video but let's go up top in the house and look up in the catalog to see how much uh, money we saved today that would explain why you cannot find those parts in the junkyard and they're all snatched up because you can tell in gray you can't get those parts they are what you call obsolete see here you can't get them here now this catalog is a lmc truck catalog i can't even tell you how much money i saved by going to the junkyard because well the parts they don't exist let's see if we can find that back tail light piece <laughs> number six this whole piece this whole brake thing right here to this this tail light piece is what i needed and going by number six it was 19.95 plus shipping and handling as for you don't do anything else until i get back let at least let me fix a few things on you before you you know show something else like i don't know a transmission or something don't get any ideas.